Coach, uh, I noticed you were on the field last game, but were you on the field at Michigan too? And just what you know uh, led you to making that decision to come down versus the box? No, I think uh, I was in the box at Michigan. It's just been a while, you know. I think the last time I was on the field was uh, during COVID, and uh, Dowdy Pickens a little bit different when it's not COVID. We had a, a special crowd last week, and. You know, the boneyard was packed, and just really appreciate the fans showing up and showing out for that. And that's that's what makes this place so special. But yeah, I was on the field, just kind of, you know, wanting to get down there and get a little bit, you know, different feel for the game, look at players in the eyes, and just really enjoyed it down there for, for some parts of it. And, and I'm not sure which way I'll be this week. It may be a, a week by week thing, game by game. But I think there's advantages to both. You know, when you're up top, you you have, you know, you can see everything. You can see the whole game. When you're down below, you can look the guys in the eyes, kind of get a feel for them, and, and they feed off of you, you feed off of them. Kind of the energy kind of goes hand in hand. And, and I thought it went that way, you know, really well for about uh, 60 snaps. You know, obviously there's some things in those first 60 snaps you got to clean up. Um, you know, we, we punched the ball out down there, backed up, and, and had an opportunity for a few of the other turnovers. Uh, I think Omar Rogers crossed the middle. Ra Ra had an opportunity, so we got to take advantage and capitalize on those. Uh, and clean up the penalties in those first 60 snaps, but just the effort we played with, and the energy we played with uh, was really good. You know, I think we played 70 snaps total. Uh, 61 was was uh, one we really, really got to clean up with our eyes. Just had some dirty eyes there, and and kind of kind of broke us really, to be honest. And then uh, you know, turned back around and, and getting ready to go three and out, and had, had another mishap, and they end up in the in the box again. So I think uh, you know we got to turn the last 10 snaps of the game into domination and finish in the way we want to finish, and really turning it up right there. And, and I think we'll, we'd be a lot happier this week. How do you keep that energy and that focus up, you know, when they hit you for one like that in the fourth? How do you just kind of watch that and, and stay locked in? Yeah, that, that's what you train for, right? You know, you train for toughness. And, and we keep talking this week, uh, you know, tough times don't last, but tough people do. It's the same in a ball game. You always got to move on to the next play. Good, bad, ugly, whatever it may be. You know, if we, if we force a fumble down there, get the ball to our offense on a three-yard line, we still got to go play the next snap. And we got to play with that same – uh, passion, energy, focus, locked in, doing our job, assignment, protecting our culture that we do, you know, if something bad happens. So, uh, you know, you got you have short memory, especially when you're a DB. you got to move on to the next play because if you don't, it can affect, you know, several snaps. So you can't let one snap turn into two bad snaps. You look at those plays, you know, corners playing for the first time really this season. Yeah. And is that just part of the growing pains of those guys really playing for the first time? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, the thing our guys are doing right now is really, really focus on App State, moving forward, pushing toward those guys, and, and, but at the same time, you know, learning from those mistakes they made. Uh, sometimes you learn those the painful way. And um, one play, you know, there's a lot of plays in that ball game that to win us the game. Um, you know, I missed a couple opportunities for turnovers there and a couple penalties there. If we, we clean those up in the first half, that, that one play in the, in the fourth quarter probably doesn't even, you know, doesn't bother you because you're up several scores. Um, but at the same time, you know, you, those are the ones that stick with you. Those are the ones that keep you up at night, you know, as a player, as a coach. And you keep turning to Tolson, and, and you're going to go back to work this week even harder, more focused. Uh, you know, I see our guys stepping up, whether it's, uh, you know, guys on the field doing their job or our leaders stepping up, being more vocal and more demanding about, hey, we got to freaking even be more locked in and get the job done. Do you feel like that's what happened last game? Were they stuck on the previous play and that led to the next play? Yeah, I, yeah, I didn't feel that way. Um, you know, I, you know, you come out and I think it was, I look up there like they got 220 yards on the night, and, and you're playing pretty well, and you feel like you know there's no way they can go 75 yards, um, and, and then they try the trick play, the double pass, and it gets in there, and and, and we got to bounce back. You know, that's where we just got to hey, even be tougher right there, and we got to create a turnover down there. I think they put the ball on the ground through a swing pass, went behind the line of scrimmage. You know, some way we got to get in there and punch that out and see if we can't come up that, see the ball, get the ball to bounce our way. And I told our guys, like, keep keep playing your tails off, keep playing hard, and, and good things will happen. You know, it, good things to happen to, to guys that go to work every day, uh, bust their tails, play their hearts out, and, uh, you know, play the type of brand of football that, that we want as Pirate Nation. F State likes a physical running attack. Do you like that challenge? And do you tell that to your players, hey, this is man on man? Yeah, like certainly. Man. Certainly. And I think we've been challenged in the run game the last two weeks. I mean, with the, the two running backs at at, uh, at Marshall, Ali last weekend, I think those are three of the best held backs. You know, I, I'd put them up there with the top 10 in the nation, I'm sure. Um, you know, not just me, but any expert 
around any guy that's making some list or whatever it may be. But uh, App State, you know, Noel, he was there two years ago when, when we played him and uh, certainly had some, you know, big runs that game and has certainly done it for the last two years. Uh, the kid from out the road in, in Raleigh, who was a Navy transfer, is doing a nice job back there as well. The old line is in sync. The head coach is an old line guy. Um, and, and they're doing a really good job running that stretch, running the zone. Uh, Frank Ponce, who was the OC two years ago, back in 21, he's back now. He was gone last year. He was at uh, University of Miami as the uh, quarterback's coach. Uh, but he's back, and, and you can see him. They're back to greased up. Did a really nice job attacking North Carolina last week on the ground and in the air. And, you know, he's a, he's a quarterback's guy. I think they threw for, you know, 260, 270 last week, ran the ball for 225, so pretty balanced. Um, Quarterback situation, I think the, uh, the, the start at the beginning of the year, Berger um, from Myrtle Beach there got hurt in game one. Uh, we'll prepare for him. I don't think he's going to be back, but we'll prepare for him. Obviously, uh, the start of the, uh, the guy has been the guy the last two games, the Juco uh, transfer guy, has done a really nice job. You know, he's a gamer back there. He makes some really nice plays down the field with his arm. You know, he can scramble around, pick up first downs on, on short yardage situations. Uh, so he kind of has the complete package back there. And, uh, the receiver that's been kind of impressive is number six. Um, had a big game against North Carolina last week. I think about 110, 120 receiving. And he's got some speed, got some wheels. Caden Robinson, number two, does a nice job out there. Uh, 13, he's a team captain uh, as well. Does a nice job out there. So they, they've got some weapons. And, you know, it's obviously a, a tough place to play up there. It's going to be a packed house. Our kids are looking forward to that, excited about that. We've already played, uh, you know, in front of a big crowd at the big house. We played in front of an awesome crowd here in, in Dowdy Ficklin. And uh, we're excited to get up there and, and go to work as well. They brought up uh, Coach Houston kind of going back to his home area, homeland, and kind of similar situation for you. Um, how familiar with the area are you and everybody yeah. coming to the game? I, I think when you're a kid, you can't wait to get out of the mountains, you know. It's, uh, you want to you leave and never come back, or you want to stay there and never leave, one or the other. Um, and, and I don't think you realize, you know, when you're a kid how, how beautiful the mountains are until you go back. and. You know, especially in the fall. I don't know if the leaves will be changing, but I don't feel like home in, in some ways. Um, but still, it's just still about two and a half, three hours from the house. Uh, so it's a long way. But I have a lot of family there, a lot of friends there coming up. I think uh, my parents, my brother, and all, all those are coming up, both brothers and their family. So there's about 15 of those those folks coming up. And it would be good just to, to have them there. But, you know, the most important thing is that 3.30 when we kick off, that we're ready to play and we're locked in and we go take care of business. What is that chess match like with, with them bringing the OC back? Because obviously you yeah. face each other in 21. Do you, over, yeah. you try to overthink what happened in that game or at least look back at it? Yeah, it's, it, I don't like thinking about it. I'll be honest about that. Um, you know, that that year, you know, we, we started out 0-2 that year, um, and we did not play well game one. And, and that's, you know, defensively we've had some – some bright spots, you know, we haven't been able to finish last week, but we've had some bright spots defensively so far. Uh, that game, I don't think there was any bright spots. I think J-Mac picked the ball off, that's about it. Um, and, and that game too, Coach Ponce, was that, that was his first time really calling it. Maybe he did some, he was involved in the pass game at Louisville. Uh, so you were kind of guessing on what they might do. Now you've got a whole season of what he did in 21, plus two games in, in 23 here that you can kind of study and go back to, and you got a better feel for who they are offensively. And they've always been kind of that, hey, run the outside zone stretch play, throw the play action shots, you know, third down, they got a true drop back game. Uh, but now you have a better feel for who he is and his identity and, and who he is as a play caller. So that adds to it. You know, I think you, you started a lot of that game in 21 and, and you see some of those things show up throughout that season. So this season, so you think you'll get those, you prepare your guys for that as well. One more question. How's uh, Elijah Morris doing and then the overall health of the defense right now? Yeah, I think uh, overall defensively, you know, I think we're in a good place. Uh, you know, get Zay McGiver back this week. I think that's, that'll be big. Um, you know, he started practice yesterday and, and looked good today, doing some good things. It's going to take him a little bit to get back in football shape. You know, Eli is bouncing back and, um, you know, appears to be going in the right direction. So excited about him. And I think he, Eli, uh, regardless of whether, you know, he missed Saturday or what, he's still his presence within our locker room, within our defense. Uh, he does a great job, his leadership, and we got several guys. Jeremy Lewis has been more vocal this week that, you know, all those guys are more demanding, more pressing of their teammates and of themselves uh, to go get the job done, to go get the job done on Saturday.